Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I want to talk about five of my favorite curly hair tools. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Alright, so the very first tool is my shampoo brush and this is something that I cannot live without and apart from it being such a pleasurable, enjoyable experience, this serves such an important purpose. This is not like fiction, this is not like something that's a myth. There has been research backing to show that scalp massaging actually does improve and increase hair growth and if you watched my scalp massaging video i'll leave it down in the description you'll see that there's research backing to this claim and so it is so 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 important because since we're using shampoos that are milder that are not as cleansing that you pair your shampoo up with a brush like this it is going to enhance the lather of your shampoo. It is going to enhance that cleansing potential of your shampoo. And it's going to take your shampooing process so much further. And if you're not a beginner and it's been a few months that you've been following CG, then I highly recommend this tool because this makes such a huge difference. And guys, this is not the first shampoo brush that I've used. This is such a huge, significant improvement over the last one that I used. I mean, once I started using this, that is when I realized how shitty my older shampoo brush was. Because since this is silicone, the bristles really bend and it gives you that nice massage -y feeling when you're shampooing your hair. And so I absolutely vouch for this. It's quite inexpensive. I'll leave it linked down below. So the next one is a spray bottle and if you've been on my channel, in my older videos you've seen me using this. This is a normal spray bottle and this is a continuous mist bottle. To get your hair wet, when you're spraying your hair with this spray bottle compared to a continuous mist bottle, this makes things so much easier because it's like a continuous mist of water. And so when I bought this, I spent a lot of money on it. I spent like 500 rupees on it. But to be very honest, I feel like it is worth the price I paid for it because it makes life so much easier. It makes things so much easier, especially when I want to make my curl clumps and I feel like I just want to spritz my hair down and I want to be super quick about it. Then this is so much better than using one of these. If you're trying to get your hair wet, this will take you forever. However, with this, the two little spritzes and I'm done. The job is done, especially when you have like leave-in conditioner and stuff on your hands and then you're trying to spray this. It is very, very annoying. This is so much easier to use. And so I feel like I'm okay. I know I spent 500 rupees on it, but I feel like it was totally worth it. However, if you have someone living abroad or if you have someone coming down from abroad, one of these continuous mist bottles will be so much cheaper if you look at Amazon in America or in the UK or in Australia. So I feel like if you have someone coming down, you'd much rather pick this up abroad and then get them to bring it down for you. Because you know how it is in India, whenever we buy these things, I honestly feel like we're always paying like an arm and a leg for these things. However, it's totally worth it. So if you don't want to buy it in India and you have someone coming down, then I would much rather say get someone to buy it from abroad and then bring it down for you. The next tool. And let me tell you how much I like this. I could forego every single thing, every other tool that I use. However, this is something that I absolutely cannot do without. This is the tool that has made the most difference to my routine because detangling used to be such a struggle for me. Once I started using this comb, it made all the difference. Detangling my hair now is so much easier no matter which conditioner you use and how much lip it has, okay? Wait for that conditioner to sit on your hair for one or two minutes and then go in with this comb and you'll notice that the breakage will be so much less. 
you'll notice that the detangling process will be so much easier and guys i cannot vouch for this enough this is the one thing that is like my absolute favorite out of every single tool that i've ever used so yeah i would highly 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 recommend this tool now can you style with the exo curl comb yes you can however i feel like on my wavy hair it doesn't give me the best results if you want to see what my hair looks like when i style with this then go to my instagram and look at my lalpar shari pictures you'll notice that the top sections of my hair are pretty straight but just the bottoms have these very tight spirals and ringlets and so if you prefer that look then maybe you could use this tool that being said i'm talking about what the results are like on wavy hair i'm sure on curly hair the results would be totally different However, if you like that look and you have wavy hair, then maybe this could work for you. Personal opinion, I don't like the results so much. Not to say that you can't style with this tool because you definitely can. And if you're doing upside down styling, then you could totally style with this tool. The only time that you're going to have a problem styling with this is if you do upright styling and you're sectioning your hair out and you're sort of twisting your hair to get that root lift and stuff. That is when you'll notice that yes, it does give you spirals. However, it'll give you spirals on the bottom lengths of your hair. It won't do so much for the top lengths of your hair. But hey, if you like that look then go for it before i go into my next tool i want to ask you a question do you miss combing your hair i really 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 do in fact when i just started cgm i was like are these girls crazy are you trying to tell me that in between the week i cannot run my fingers through my hair i cannot comb my hair and that is a feeling that i miss so much However, with this next tool, and you've seen me using this in my ACV rinse video, but yeah, I feel like she hasn't had a moment, you know, in a while on my channel. And so I felt like, you know, let me talk about her. So she's pink, she's cute, she's that chick. And trust me, when you're shampooing your hair and you feel like, man, I miss that feeling. I miss running a brush through my hair. It hitting my scalp and going down the lengths of my hair and that feeling of ecstasy. I mean, now I dream about it and I'm like, wow, I really miss that. However, if you're missing that feeling, then this is something that could really help. So, it's bended. So it really cups your scalp while you're combing and this brush let me just tell you that it's not expensive at all i think i paid under 300 rupees for it and i don't regret it because this cups your hair it gives you that beautiful massagey feeling and it reminds me of my days before cgm and since i can't comb my hair throughout the week sometimes i elongate my wash day process and i just sit in the shower and just you know comb my hair and feel nice and <laughs> i know <laughs> you guys must be like what's wrong with her but no yeah it is something that i really miss and having this brush makes me not miss combing my hair as much because i feel like when i'm shampooing my hair and i'm going in with this brush then it makes me feel like you know i'm reliving those days before cgm I don't know how many of you relate to this but yeah this makes up for it and it sort of makes up for the fact that I cannot comb my hair during the week when I go in with this brush then I'm like yeah okay this was my quota for the week and I fulfilled it the next thing that I want to talk about are clips clips are so important when you're dealing with hair the first kind that I want to talk about are root clips and i know some of you are not really comfortable with root clips however they are a great way to get some root volume and some root lift especially if you have long hair and you feel like when your hair is drying when you take your hair out of the plop then the sheer weight of your hair with the product and the water and the gel is making your hair like really elongated because of that weight of the water and you feel like you're not getting root volume i know it might feel frustrating because when you use root clips for root volume you notice that it gets stuck in the gel and your hands are slipping and stuff but i will make a video where i show you how to use root clips without getting super frustrated and you can put them to so much use that i feel like later on in your journey if you've been on cgm for a while then maybe it's a good idea for you to invest in some root clips 
The next kind of clips that I want to talk about are claw clips or butterfly clips. These clips are so, so, so important, especially when you're styling your hair. So, have you ever tried to do like a complex styling routine without clips? Sometimes things get in the way, right? Hair from this section goes to that section and it's like a whole chaotic mess and you're like, what am I doing? You know, why is it taking so long and why is my hair all over the place? Having a few clips makes your life so much easier when you're styling, especially when you're sectioning your hair out that quite literally this accessory had to make this video. The next is alligator clips. These are also so important to have because when you're working in sections or doing stuff like that, these clips can also be of such great help, especially when you're doing hairstyles and stuff. Then these clips are so handy. I'm gonna put in like proper shots of all of the items so that you know exactly what they look like. And also with the prices and stuff on the screen. And I think it's also important for me to start showing you guys my alligator clips and stuff. Generally, I like to be super minimal on my channel and so I prefer to use clips like these because I know that you definitely have, if you're a beginner, right? You definitely have clips like these at home from before CGM. However, let me just tell you that alligator clips make sectioning and stuff so much easier so much easier than using these clips and so yeah maybe I'll start introducing them in my routines all right the next thing so I've been really good right 15 months of CGM I have not straightened my hair once I haven't exactly used heat if I have used heat then I've been super delicate with it so like when I use my heat cap and stuff right there is not like damaging level heat and even when I wash my hair, I go in with like slightly warm water, but I've completely stopped having like hot showers where the water is like boiling. And this is something that I used to do so much before, but I've started using lukewarm water now and my heat cap is not that hot. It's not like piping hot where it's going to damage your hair. And to be very honest, I have not diffused my hair that much either. And now since I'm on my 15 month mark, you guys will also notice that I was very worried about high grill fatigue, right? And so I used to not refresh at all. Now I feel like maybe I could dial it back a little bit because I have given my hair quite a lot of time and I've been like a good girl, but sometimes it is so frustrating waiting for my hair to air dry. And so just before it dries, when I have like that last one hour left for it to dry, I've started diffusing a little bit. And mostly, let me tell you, I used to not use my diffuser more because of damage and also because it's so heavy that it is that entire process is like irritating and frustrating and these diffusers are so heavy right holding them up and you know lifting them and diffusing your hair can be such a pain however i'm gonna make a video on how i've started using my diffuser so i don't use it throughout so i don't dry my hair from like 100% wet to 100% dry. That's not what I've been doing. I'll make a video on how I use my diffuser. But recently, so the last time I washed my hair, when I did the Enliven video, and today as well, and I feel like I've come up with a hack where it's not gonna hurt you that much. So you have that video to look forward to. So yeah, in this video, I wanna include my diffuser because very honestly, this content is not only for me, right? A lot of you have like super fast paced jobs and sometimes you don't have time to air dry. So for me, one day in the week, I spend the entire day just with my hair. The rest of the week, I pretty much ignore my hair and do like the bare minimum. However, on wash days, I don't cook on those days. I don't clean on those days. I don't do any other work. I don't do any of my studio work. I don't take any sessions. I do nothing. That is the one day in the week where I'm like, okay, today is just my hair and I'm just gonna focus on my hair because the rest of the week, I'm not really doing anything to my hair. However, recently I've been looking at the comments and what I realize is a lot of people are looking for like quick solutions. Obviously, everyone is not going to come from this place where they're in like hair rehab, right? Some of you might have perfectly healthy hair and you might not have color and heat damage. And so you don't really mind diffusing. And so this is a tool that I feel like you definitely need, especially if you have a fast paced life, if you're going to office and you're doing your hair before that, then I feel like a diffuser is so, so, so important. 
So my diffuser, the one that I bought, this is the cheapest one that I found on Amazon that has like a temperature control and a fan control. The other ones that I found are a little cheaper. So you will see like a two, three hundred rupee difference. However, it doesn't have like the fan controls. So high, medium and low. And it doesn't have the temperature controls of high, medium and low, which is why I picked this one. This is the cheapest one with those functions. Of course, I'll put up some shots of the product so that you can see exactly what it looks like. And if you guys are interested, then I'll leave it down below. If you live a super fast paced life and you need to finish your routine in like an hour or something, then this tool could be like an absolute game changer in your routine. So if you enjoyed this video, then there's a very good chance that you might enjoy one of these and feel free to look through my channel. You'll find so much content if you're interested in hair care.